life's greatest joy of all. <laughs>
And that's a problem because $30 is equal to around nearly 500 gems normally, while deals are around 600 gems, but also equal to an entire track of the Battle Pass or Legends Pass. It doesn't make sense for these prices to be that high because in the Legends Pass you're getting a fourth of the 600 gems for the same price, $30. But then it reaches its worst sin. As I mentioned with all of these offers, they have these sorts of challenges for the players, which can range from reading monsters, collecting gold, or here's the fun one, buying gems. And oh no, I'm really not kidding. There is sometimes a solo event called King of Gems, which allows the player, you, to spend as much money on the event to win these prices. Well, for the one I have recorded at least, this is what you could get. And for that final reward, a mutated room, you would have to spend, here, let's see, 30,000 gems. What is that equal to in real life currency? 2,000 and 700 dollars. That is the worst ripoff I have ever seen in a video game, and I've seen Overwatch 2's prices, let alone an iOS game. Now, I don't know if anyone is spending that much in the game, but there is still a lot of people playing this game who compete for a lot of things, and even to own that monster alone is $150. And to get the additional cells to rank that monster alone is $750. And with the amount of money people spend on things such as a single card, I wouldn't think people are past that. In summary, Monster Legends in any iOS game like it is the worst of iOS gaming. I feel like there should be laws in place for pricing your games like this, especially when other games don't even have stuff like this. Even entire indie games on consoles offer more value for the same price. The first Ori game is $30, the other, the sequel, is $40. You get more enjoyment if you buy them. And there's Overwatch who had to remove their loot boxes for that shitty item shop system. All because it was considered gambling? While I now know two iOS games that have 24 hour cooldown gambling systems, by the way, Angry Birds 2 has a fortune thing that if you pick a card with a pig randomly, you lose all the rewards you picked up. But don't worry, if you pick the pig by accident, you can go back with gems. Monster Legends has that exact same system. Monster Legend... Monster Legends has that exact same system. Anyways, before this ends, I do think that developers in their teens should be paid fairly. That's hopefully not what this video came across as. But when your game depends on pay to win, especially when you're catering to kids, then it just ruins their enjoyment. I remember when I spent months saving my gems just to buy Voltaic, who not long after had become pathetic compared to the other legendaries you had to buy for or breed for with bought monsters. Yeah, he became dog shit before Mythics. Let that sink in. But with all that said and done, Monster Legend is pay to win, insanely priced, and if anyone buys the shit, I wonder whose credit card you are using. Spirit out. Run the run, run, it's in the town, mate. No mistake, I shoot to kill.